Man, it's hot. Hello and welcome. My name is Jeremiah, and today on Hail Design Technologies, I'm talking SLA, or stereo lithography, on the Monoprice MP Mini that I just picked up for $200. And at that price point, this machine is low end, so it came with a few engineering problems, and so this is what you need to know. So when I first got the machine, I was having tons of problems with it. It would just freeze randomly. The LCD screen would show two different images for the same part, when it was just basically showing the wrong image, messing up the layers and all sorts of stuff. Uh, did I see it would just freeze randomly? Yeah, it just randomly stops working with no apparent reason why. And the fan on the bottom was just extremely loud. Uh, after tinkering with it for the last week or so, I've been able to solve a lot of the problems and now I'm getting consistently good prints out of the MP Mini. So let me show you what I did. Now this is just my experience. I have very limited knowledge when it comes to working with SLA 3D printers, but this worked for me, so I hope it helps you. I found the fastest way to get files onto this thing is to drag them into my Wi-Fi console, and then do everything else on the printer itself. Um, I'm using G2 Box as my slicer. First thing you should do is download the driver um, and that'll allow you to use um, the only slicer that I've got to work so far which is T2 box. Well I take that back. The web I got the web slicer to work but it was terrible. You download the driver here and then you copy the dot bin file uh, to the printer, and I just use the web interface to do that. Oh, I need to hook up. Uh, copy it to an SD card or the web uh, interface if you get the Wi-Fi working. And then what I did was just drop the .bin file in here. It doesn't really show up in the list, but then you can go over to the printer itself, go to print, and you'll find the .bin file. You just run it, and that'll upgrade your firmware. And then once you have the firmware upgraded, you can actually use the Proton uh, file type, which comes out of Chitu box. Uh, so the AnyCubit fro uh, Photon SLA printer, uh, we can use that file type, and it seems to work quite well. Okay, so I've taken this thing apart to show you a little shim that I had to put in here to make sure this thing works. It's held in um, where these four magnets would hit, and with we'll a little uh, five millimeter allen key. It's screwed in from the bottom, take this screw out, take the cover off, which is just two screws, and then this thing is accessible. Turn your little knob back here till it's open, then you're able to pull this thing directly out the top, like so. And um, what I'm finding is it slips when there's high tension on the bed to get it to adhere. It's not one of those printers that pulls off slowly in one direction. Uh, this printer lifts, lifts straight up like most, and it's too much for their little auto leveling mechanism. Um, so I'm trying this little shim in here, and it seems to be working out well so far. So it's just a piece of painter's tape, regular old hardware store painter's tape. I find it has good outside consistency and allows it to slide, but it's tighter in there and lets it do its job better without slipping off. So ever since I started using the tape, uh, no slippage happens. So there's a, that's something you should do as an upgrade. It's a bit of a hack, I admit, but it works. Oh, and be careful. When you take off this little top cap, there's a little spring under there that'll go flying if you're not careful. One thing you should know about the MP Mini, uh, this is the very bottom where you can see into the fan, is if, you, if the fan's very loud, uh, you have a problem. Um, not with the fan, but with this, let's see if I can point to it, up there in that there, see that white spot up there? That's a ribbon cable connected to the LCD. And it's, something happens in packaging and shipping where that ribbon cable jars free and gets caught in the fan blades. So the, the fan sounds really loud. It's not really the fan's fault, 
Uh, I thought it was the fan I was going to replace the fan, then I saw the LCD. And what happens is this causes a whole bunch of other problems. So, so uh, if your if your MP Mini is experiencing random crashes, the uh, LCD screen here flickering, um, or it will um, stop the auto homing sequence just randomly. Then your and the fan is really loud underneath in the back, more than likely the ribbon cable connected to the LCD screen is caught in the fan blades, getting hit by the fan and getting inter intermittent connectivity, which has been causing a whole heck of a lot of problems. So uh, that's one thing you're gonna need to address and make sure that's not happening. If it is, just take a little, um, uh, take a little non-metallic, non-conductive tweezer or something and just push it back off push the uh, ribbon cable back off the fan blade underneath and then just push through the fan blade push the ribbon cable back off of it and it seems to work at least that's what I did uh, you uh, obviously you could open up the entire printer and um, mess with it if you need to but I didn't I didn't actually have to open up the entire thing so that helped a lot um, with the printing. I was having a lot of crashes and a lot of annoying things in the very beginning, but once I uh, tracked down that issue and fixed it, uh, that that became a uh, that that fixed a lot of other other issues. Yes, this LCD screen, which I thought was um, I was actually going to send the printer back because it was just so bad. But uh, once I got that figured out, it's not too bad. The next thing I would advise is uh, printing yourself a clamp uh, for this little Z-axis cable because it gets caught in when you close the door and the axis is all the way down. This gets caught in this little edge area right here. So, I, su so I suggest you printing yourself a clip or what I do is just take a piece of uh, tape here at the bottom and just tape it on at the back side down there like so and you'll notice I use that blue tape quite a lot because it you know, it's handy and it works so I'll end up printing a clip for that to make it a little bit more secure but now it doesn't get caught in the closing of the lid so it prints good parts once you get it working I have no complaints about quality or anything else like that this is my first SLA printer so I'm just sharing what I know about it and um, my first upgrade that I did, besides the hack to this thing. So I printed myself a little handle for it. That's made by itself. I printed this on it on the MP Mini. Little handle, little uh, M4 screws and nuts, just to screw it on, just to attach it. And then now I've got a little handle. It kind of bugged me that it was just this box without anything on there. I don't need, I think they were going for simplicity, but come on guys, a handle would have been great. So a link in the description for the model that I used for this. I got it off Thingiverse, I didn't actually make that model. So I'll link to the model and um, I had to modify it a little bit. Uh, Post-processing after I printed it, just drilled out the hole a little bit more with a drill. Just cause, and then other than that, it's been a great machine. So those are the tips I can give you for for working with the MP Mini. If you would like future updates about my journey creating a fabrication shop here in my garage, go ahead and hit that bell icon and the subscribe button. And uh, thanks for watching.